analogies I use for people who are emotionally hypersensitive, there is a difference between sensitive people and emotional hypersensitive. That's another story from the other day. So I was going to touch on a brief analogy on emotionally hypersensitive people who you could be working with as a coach or as a therapist or maybe as a manager. The analogy I use is, imagine, just tap yourself on the shoulder if you don't mind, if it's okay to do so. You tap yourself on the shoulder. As you tap yourself on the shoulder, just take note, did, did it hurt? Well, it probably didn't hurt a great deal, but imagine you had like a lot of sunburn and you tapped yourself on the shoulder. It would obviously hurt a lot more or in any other part of the body, uh, so to speak. And that's one way to sort of analogy and uh, emotional hypersensitivity, the research suggests there is some biological base, uh, the genes and how they're expressed. Uh, I'm sure there is biological, psychological, sociological reasons for emotional hypersensitivity. I'll give you a couple of examples because information streams into our brain for our senses. So many years ago I was working in care, in education, um, in care homes. This teacher had clapped his hands and rubbed his hands together and said to the student, can you make me a cup of tea? And she went above and beyond the proportion of what most people do if someone did that. Now reading between the lines, my understanding was that her abuser used to do that before he abused her. So there was an underlying schema there. Um, if that wasn't there, which she still reacted in the same way, well, that's anybody's guess, but that gives you a sort of a, a, an indication, okay, so it could be a biological base and exposure to a certain environment, or it could be one or the other or both or somewhere in between. Um, and you'll sort of see, and, and certainly on another occasion, I was working with someone in, in football, ironically, and just a comment about his performance was enough to sort of, the reaction in proportion to what the comment was, uh, was far more significant. Was some constructive criticism to improve an aspect of the game. Um, so you kind of wonder the reaction in proportion to the um, situation, and that could be visually, it could be hearing, uh, it could be uh, smell, taste, or various sensory channels. And you're generally going to get most people are probably unaware of certain situations but obviously some people have got a more profound awareness. So it could be you know, the, the clicking of uh, eating the, the dishes, it could be someone eating or, or crunching some popcorn, <laughs> all that, that probably irritates uh, most people. It could be um, someone saying something, a word. So in, in, in the, and I think what's really important from a coaching and certainly a therapist's point of view, if you do get a reaction, is sort of be aware of potential triggers and you could possibly explore them, but that's another story from a day, and I'm not certainly making any recommendations um, to, to see if you can sort of desensitize to that uh, stimulus. Um, also, just the awareness is, is quite useful. And from, from a self point of view, um, self-awareness is a good start, and, and mindful may be useful uh, in those situations, but obviously I'm not able to make any recommendations um, because each case is independent to its own. But from a coaching point of view, certainly a therapist's point of view, if you do get certain reactions, then it's really important not to take it personal because you might think, well, 100 people might not react in that sort of way. It's a spectrum, somewhere in between, but you will get that sort of person who is going to react above and beyond proportion to what the stimulus would suggest. Um, so that could have been in a situation where the, the, the memory stored implicitly uh, and, and they react. So the analogy I use is think of the sunburn scenario where for the most part um, you know you could tap someone on the shoulder it's fine um, but obviously if they've got uh, sunburn it's going to hurt a lot more and they won't appreciate someone doing that in a nutshell anyway thank you for watching move passion boom